how to improve your marketing tenfold. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I have with me here a local newspaper. This is one that gets sent out, uh, I think like once a month, something like that. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, it's monthly. This is one of those free monthly things that shows up in the mail, just automatically. It goes to everybody that has a mailbox or, um, yeah, just everybody that has a mailbox. Any is any uh, residency uh, gets one of these. It's it's pretty cool. So I'm going to talk about this and talk about why you need. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. One thing you need to do that will change everything with your marketing, and it comes. It here's who I'm talking to. I was just watching. It's so funny. I was just watching a. Um, a, a skit from Saturday Night Live and the guy couldn't finish his sentences. It reminds me of myself. I always jump in and interrupt myself and go a different direction. So please bear with me. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing that you need to do. If you are a business owner or executive, if you're the one running the show, if you are the one making the decisions, then you are the one that needs to pay the most attention to marketing. Now, yeah, you should. You, you may have a chief marketing officer, or you may have somebody in charge of that type of thing at your company. You still need to pay attention because it is one of the most important things that happens at your company is the initial communication between you and your customers and the ongoing communication. That's what marketing is. It's merely the communication between you and your potential and ongoing customers or past customers. That's all marketing. It's you bringing them back to the fold and getting them to spend more money with you in, in the most basic sense. Now, this, the same thing can be flipped. If you're running for public office, it's getting people to vote for you. If this thing can be flipped to uh, a church, it, 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 maybe the main thing is to get people to attend and to donate, okay? Th these are all the same thing over and over again. You gotta translate it to fit what you're doing and everything that I'm gonna be talking about tonight has to do with translating things that don't initially fit your company. And it comes from looking at other people's advertisements. If you watch other people's marketing, you will get an idea for what seems to work or what doesn't work. And I want you to start watching yourself and start watching those around you. If you have a spouse, if you have anyone else in your family that you pay attention to, watch what marketing affects them. And then question why. Question, why did that stand out to you? Why do you wanna go there? Why do you wanna buy that thing? When you start doing this after a year, after two years, after five years, you're gonna start seeing everything change in terms of your own marketing. It can't not change. It has to change because as soon as you're aware of things that you weren't aware of before, you're going to get better and better and better at it. Um, so I, I brought this example. This is a great example You could because you could use it anywhere. It doesn't matter whether you're watching TV, whether you're watching online advertising, or whether you're watching advertising that comes through the mail. So one of these things, they end up, it ends up showing you, uh, it has a whole bunch of articles in it that are locally sourced and then a huge portion of it is nothing but advertising. And I can look through here and all I gotta do really is just browse and see what stands out to me and see what pulls my eyes in. And you know, not everybody's will be pulled in by the same thing. Here's a, here's a great example. Just saw this. I'm looking here at, at this page. There's an article. There's a, uh, it's not even an article. This is a, this is a best of Rogue Valley vote today. So it's a little voting section that you could fill out and send in. And then down here, some, some ads. And w which ad stood out to me was this one over here. Now, it may not be the same thing for you. Maybe this one stood out for you. But this one stood out for me because of big, bold letters. I had to read it. And everything that has a question mark tends to pull people in. It's one of the main reasons why I use question marks a lot in uh, my titles for my videos and so forth. This says selling your home question mark. Well, see, I'm not selling my home. I'm nowhere close to interested in selling my home, but it's far and it, it at least gets me to read it. If it get, gets me to read it and I go, yeah, I am selling my home, I'd probably read more. He's got a little book, The Truth About Selling Home for Top Dollar. That, that pulls me in 
at least initially. And that's what you're looking for. You don't need to know the whole thing. You just need to see initially what pulls you in. And that's a great uh, way to really de decipher advertising. You'll realize most advertising, it doesn't pull you in. But most of the time, you're not really paying attention to it. It's all subliminal. You're not even thinking about it. But I want you to start thinking more and more. You're not just looking for things in your area, in your industry. You've got to be looking at everything. Here's another Here's another great one. I'm not sure if you can see this. The whole page is mostly advertising. There's a little calendar of events. Everything else is an ad on this page. And just look at what pulls you in and what doesn't. What pulled me in, usually big writing pulls me in. And these little check marks here. So here it says, do you snore? Know someone who snores. Trouble using CPAP. See, it goes directly to the person they're trying to reach. You see, if you don't relate with those, you're not going to want to read much further. You're not going to pay attention to the pictures or anything else. But if any of those things apply to you, you might go, oh, I wonder what this is. You know, and you'll go a little further and look a little deeper. All of these things, once again, using questions to pull a person out. To, to connect Dad, with a person. Dad, somebody's coming up the steps. Okay, I'll be right out. I gotta get going. You have a great night. Get out there and let the magic happen.